Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I appreciate it if you guys hit that uh, the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please hit like. Thank you very much. Oh, and don't forget to leave, leave a comment. All right, thank you guys very much. I appreciate every one of you. All right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about first thing, my EPS, my electronic power steering. I got this thing under warranty. Um, so I gotta say this first, okay? The, the, the six month warranty. I wish Polaris would give a, a year one, but whatever. Anyway, um, so the six month warranty ends for me on uh, March 9th, uh, 2021. And uh, I'm gonna sound muffled because I'm speaking through my helmet. It's cold out here, I, it's really cold. And uh, I just got finished cleaning up my own driveway. This thing's been at the uh, Polaris dealership. One thing first, they said that uh, those lights being foggy like that, that moisture, Polaris said that's 100% natural. That's a normal thing you'll see. I'm trying to show you, you see those wavy lines. But uh, so they're not going to cover that under warranty. I didn't even talk about my set, uh, my seat. But to go back to my warranty, so yeah, my my warranty runs out on March 9th. And uh, if I want to keep my warranty, I've got the high lifter, or not the high lifter, sorry, I got the Kempex lift kit on my bike right now, which is that guy right there. That's a one piece. And then back back here. You know, you've got that and then up there and that goes right across to the other side and bolts in. It's a really nice system. And I don't I don't really get why Polaris wouldn't let me keep that on my bike. Like, you know, but just in case I break an axle or something like that, I don't want to avoid my uh, extended four year warranty. So, uh, which is drivetrain only. So with that being said, what I want to do is show you guys I had somebody comment on a video a little while ago. He said he got a machine and his, I, he had a problem with his steering. Um, and I'm not quite sure if this is the same thing or not, but I'm going to try to show you the best I can. So what's actually happening is when I just turn the key on, here I'll do it right now. Just turn the key on. And you guys will hear it from here. Watch this. You guys hear that and if you watch the wheel and then now here's the issue Polaris has gone in like the dealership has gone in uh, they've tightened up the top end and that shaft right there that little shaft right there on the screen watch this Oh, sorry, right. You guys see that? It's the slightest movement. But you see it? it? It might be hard for you to see it, but that shaft is actually going up and then back down. It's popping. So what Polaris has done is they've warranted the entire EPS because the EPS unit is a non-serviceable item so yeah um thankfully too it's not a back order they have that in stock so that's beautiful i'm glad so anyway with that being said yeah so i do have the lift kit on i want to take that off and uh, i'm still waiting for the right hand fender um after oh i wish i could remember your name buddy uh he commented on my video anyway he said that he ordered his december 23rd and he actually got all four I ended up having to do a dance around with Polaris for a week and finally I, they told me I had to do an Ask Polaris at the dealership how to do it. Now I'm going to get this probably around the first week of February is what I was looking at. And then finally I'll have my fenders and I'll have that whole wide body look which is something I'm really looking forward to. Um, you know what, when the sun's not out you guys can more see the, the color of this bike. It looks, what you guys see in the camera is almost exactly what color it is that looks real nice on camera but uh anyway so yeah i've got the 60 inch plow this is the same plow actually i had on my 570 if you guys were watching my other video at all i don't know if i ever did show you guys a video of actually me with this plow i know i did one of the shear pin and as you guys can see i got a bolt in it right now 
because when this thing went to Polaris, all of a sudden we got this, we were supposed to have like two to four centimeters, and I think we got like closer to six inches, almost probably 10 inches uh, with two snowfalls, and this thing was at the dealership. And my buddy let me borrow his XP1000, and sure enough, that shear pin broke, and all my shear pins are in the back of this box, which was at the dealership. So I had this bolt around, and I, I keep that for when I go through all my, my shear pins that I don't have anymore. I keep that there in stock so that I could just use that bolt. But uh, other than that shear pin breaking, sometimes it seems like for no reason at all. You guys can see I have these shields, and they are for the straight axle, but they do kind of fit on there. Um, I do have three twist ties on them. I think that's a little overkill. Uh, that, oh, I got to say too, this windshield compared to the Kempex, my brother, my, my buddy still has that Kempex windshield on his. And where my original video where I said my accessory list, and I said that I preferred the Kempex over this one because the way this is black, well, I, I'm reversing that 100%. I hate that Kempex windshield. I had to stand up the entire time plowing because I could not see through that thing. It's counterintuitive because it's clear, right? It, you wouldn't think so, but I see way better with this wind. I could sit down on this one here and I can see everything in front of me. Like these things here are more or less just hand guards. See, it's, it's really weird. You wouldn't think it, but I love this windshield compared to that Campex. I'm, I'm glad I was able to get this thing for 50 bucks. Like, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm super stoked. Like I said in my one video, the only bad thing is there's a fitment thing where when I turn really, really hard, it, it's done now. It's done the damage. So those marks right there, uh, it's not, I could get some paint um, and just touch that up and whatever. You guys still, still see the tag. I didn't even take the tag off from the dealership. Um, I do have the uh, four inch rack extender on the back. Uh, that little, uh, the rollover that I had where I tipped it, um, I popped all the rivets off this. I've since replaced them, uh, the one that was broken. I think that one was broken or this one was. Anyway, I was missing one. But I think in comp with, the, with the box and this, and this, to be honest with you, this beer got tweaked a little bit, but it didn't break it. So I think all this together, this bike stood up really, really well. You can't, you'll never know that I had it on her side. You know, but anyway, yeah, this is my winter setup in Ontario. I'm allowed to have that blue light on my bike. Not allowed to have it on my car, but I'm allowed to have it on my bike. So I have that as my warning light for when I'm uh, uh, plowing. It seems to work great. I was thinking about, and I may even still through Lumens, uh, LumensHID.com. Um, that discount is almost over, guys. You got till the uh, the 31st, a couple more days, to use my uh, Seagull discount code. Seagull, all lowercase, S-E-A-G-U-L-L. -L. Um, but yeah, the, go to LumensHID.com, and they did make a blue amber flashy light for me, like a strobe light, which I want to put a here. Somewhere along here, and I'm thinking somewhere in the back, maybe. I'm not sure, but most likely just in the back corner, I'll get one like right here and on the other side in conjunction with this. So I have blue amber because I just want the back end lit up. I don't need the front lit up. Um, so I may end up reach out to them, see if I can extend that um, code. But Right now, as it is, nobody's actually used that code, so I have a funny feeling he, they're not going to give it back to me. So it was a three-month trial. Nobody's used that code, so I guess my channel's not stuff, just not big enough for it. Anyway, I kind of lost my train of thought here, guys. I wanted to make this video mostly about the EPS, and I don't want to turn this into a big, long rant. And, uh, you know, I love every one of you guys. Uh, I love all the comments, guys. I really do. Um, some comments for some reason every once in a while I'll go to try to uh, I, they won't show up It takes a couple days for them to show up and that little heart thing every time you see a heart That means I've read your message. I don't can always reply, but it's there anyway um, Sometimes that's not there. I just noticed This right here is coming off Oh, and this is gonna be another update That's coming real soon 
um, I'm moving this as much as I love this on the bike I love it more on the 2021 so I've ordered I actually received it today I received the, the plug right here today but it was missing the back nut and then we had to go through a wiring harness thing I'll have all those part numbers for you and everything guys make life easy for you give me about a week or so something like that hopefully just a week or so mid-february i'll have all the part numbers if you guys want this on your bike uh from 2017 up shit as long as your bike has this on it i think even the 570 like my 2017 i think had this i can't remember but as long as you have this right in behind there man that, that's where it mounts so in a couple of weeks as soon as i get that i'll get the part numbers for you i can tell you right now that the piece that goes right there is like 49 dollars canadian something like that and then my harness that i need is going to cost me another like 26 bucks because you do need a harness so if you guys want to look at it go to your dealership i literally spent an hour and a half in there this morning we're trying to figure it out uh but yeah it's pretty easy guys but i'll have all those part numbers to make life easy for you you guys have any questions at all about this bike um any warranty issues anything like that i thought i was gonna have a warranty issue because of my lift kit the dealership went above and beyond today uh yesterday so hopefully next week it'll be in get that power steering problem fixed the only reason the bike's back now is because honestly i had to get some plowing done like i said i borrowed my buddy's bike but uh you know i don't like using other people's machines so with that being said there's one little video that i'm hoping to cat is that uh, for some reason key off and out these lights right here down there that whole side goes off about every 49 seconds and i haven't been able to get that on video yet i've had it where i could time it that's how i know about every 49 seconds i just had my timer out and lapping it as soon as I tried recording it, it stopped doing it. It's like it freaking knows I'm recording it. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. Love you. Peace. Out.